fellow crafters Janine here today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute little treat bags to give out at your child's birthday party these are supposed to be little owls um, yeah they kind of look like little monsters but anyway they're supposed to be little owls little treat bags uh, with little thank you tags attached to them Anyway, if you would like to see how I made these utilizing my Cricut and some basic craft supplies, just stay tuned. Okie doke, to make those cute little favor sacks, um, I started with just some plain white paper bags that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And they come in all different colors at Hobby Lobby and I'm sure at a number of other different craft stores like Michael's. Um, Anyway, uh, what I did was I started by folding about uh, about an inch and three quarters, two inches over like so and just took a boning tool and just kind of really made that fold nice and short because we want it to, to really stay folded over like so. And then I cut... And then with a stack of pink cardstock that I got from Hobby Lobby also, and with my Cricut die cutting machine, I cut one and a half inch circles out of three different colors of pink cardstock. And these were in the same stack of um, pink cardstock. It was, I wanna say it was five different colors of pink cardstock and so I just chose three um, from a light to a dark color pink. Anyway, I'm going to start with the lightest color pink. I think this bag was about four inches wide by about nine and a half inches tall, give or take. So I'm just going to take uh, this clear liquid Oh, I also just took some white. It's not, it's about the thickness of uh, cardstock, but it's just supposedly a craft paper. It's this Tim Holtz craft paper that I got on sale at Hobby Lobby. You can see its original price was $15. I got it off the clearance bin for $5.49. Um, and it's just called Paper Stash by Tim Holtz. Um, really nice. Uh, craft paper so I just to chose a sheet of the white sorry it shook my camera a little bit for the eyes and then um, just a little bright orange sheet of craft paper I cut a triangle out of for the nose anyway so I'm just gonna take some craft glue and just run a bead it doesn't have to be super exact And you start at the bottom and work your way up. And I like to go from the lightest color at the bottom to the darkest color at the top and do a, a, a gradient effect. But if you want to go from the darkest color to the lightest. If you want to just mishmash them and do all different colors all the way around or if you want to do one color it's your owl. You do whatever makes your heart happy. That's my motto.
did, in all honesty, measure this out beforehand. Um, and that's where I got the, you know, I figured out what circumference I needed to make, uh, you know, or how wide I did need to make the circles to make sure that they went you know, that they would overlap a little bit and that they would go from edge to edge of the paper and that they would, you know, with the paper fold, with the paper bag folded over this much, that it would go right under, you know, the lip of that. Um, I mean, I could go all the way, uh, you know, to that fold with the little circles, but it's really unnecessary. Um, so, you know, do take the time to do a little bit of measuring because it, it is all about making it look the way you want it to look. But it truly does not have to be an exact science. This is, after all, a party for children. Children are not going to whip out a ruler to make sure that you, you know, got this exactly right. They're just going to be really impressed with their cute little owl bags. They're just going to wonder, where did you get that? And as you can see, I'm doing this last little layer on the bottom edge of that fold, or I guess what would be the top edge of the paper, however you want to look at it. Okay, and now I'm going to take the two circles that I cut for the eyes, and I'm going to position them about so. And I put some glue on what would be about the bottom half of the eyes right there and right there I'm gonna take the nose or the beak whatever you want to call it whatever works for you put some glue on the top half of it and position it about so you with me so far? Actually, I think I'm going to position those eyes just a little lower. And a little closer together. I don't know if you can see that beak placement too good. My lighting just went a little south on me. It got clouded up outside. A little cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Okie dokie, and we're going to take one of our circles and cut it in half with some glue. And some more glue. I like to point them in just a little bit so they don't look quite so square. Okay. Now take some googly eyes. The only reason I'm using these googly eyes is because I just I looked everywhere I just didn't have any black paper at all I mean not even a little bit anywhere to make the center of the eyes so and the googly eyes are cute enough and I give it a little bit of dimension So, 
there we go now to finish it up and make it a little extra special cute I made these little thank you tags to attach to these little treat bags and to do that okay to make these cute little thank you tags um, with my Cricut machine I uh, cut out the tag shapes and for that I used again this uh, craft paper from Tim Holt that I got at Hobby Lobby and I used uh, one of the craft paper sheets and I used uh, this owl paper from this paper stack that I got at Walmart just six inch by six inch and I used that for the top piece and then I used this bright pink cardstock which is just like this bright pink cardstock and cut thank yous out of it with the Cricut and then used a spray adhesive to put everything together <clears throat> And once this glue is completely dry on the gift bag, I'm going to just punch a hole in the top corner here. And with some decorative twine, I'm just going to tie them on. But I'm not going to do that until, um, I'm not going to tie it on until, like I said, everything's dry and um, the gift bag uh, is opened up and filled with treats. Because um, obviously once you do that, you're going to be closing the bag up. But anyway, that is all for making these treat bags for your party guests at your child's birthday party. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and joining me today for this video. Have a great day.